good morning all. We're going to have a fun day today. We're going to run this HOMAG motor on this Keb HOMAG S4. Now, this drive came in set up to run on CAN bus, but I don't have the ability to run this drive from CAN bus. So we're going to set the drive to run uh, from this keypad right here. And I'll show you all how to do that. Very, very simple. Uh, the drive, Kev Homag S4, its material number, 07S4DB1-348A. The motor, article number 4-076-01-107. The second article number on this data plate, A4.SM.002-YADH. I made the cables to connect the feedback of the motor to the drive and UVNW of the motor to UVNW of the drive. This drive, uh, to power up this drive, we have to apply 440 volts to 480 volts on L1, L2, and L3. And I'm going to power this drive up with 460 volts AC3 phase. Let's get a little bit closer to the drive, and I'll show you how to set this up to run that motor. It's going to be a fun day. I like doing stuff like this, don't you? Now we're closer to the drive. What we want to do first is remove the CAN bus module. Now this is the CAN bus connector right here. This is how we communicate to the drive and how the drive communi communicates back to the controller. Let's install our keypad. Now we're going to apply 460 volts AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3. All right, we come up 0, 0.0. Now, if I watch this, if I rotate the shaft of this motor, this value right here changes. That indicates to us that that feedback in that motor is working. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so what we do now, let's see what mode we're in. Okay, we're in CP mode. Let's go to CP0, and it says CP on. What we want to do here is get to application mode. In application mode, we up arrow until we have 440 in the display. Too far. Let's back up. 440 in the display from CP0, where it said CP on. Now we'll hit enter. Now we're in application mode. Now to get this drive out of CAN control, we want to go to UD5. Let's see, where am I at? There's UD. Okay. Let's go to UD5. It's set to 1. When UD5 is set to 1, this drive is set up for CAN control. We want to set this value to 0. Enter. Okay. Now, let's see if it took. Yes, okay. Now, we want to put the drive into drive mode. We go back to UD0. Let me get back out of here. Go to UD0, and we want to enter 500 at this point right here. Oh, <laughs> pay attention, Pete. I blew right past that one. There we are, 500. <laughs> it took me a little bit going past it and a little bit going underneath of it. Hit enter. Now we're into drive mode. 
and it says F no op. F means we're forward. If you want to change direction, hit this enter FR button. And see it says little r, that's reverse. So let's set it back to forward. Now, as long as it's in no op, we can't run. So what we have to do here is we have to jump terminal 1, which is control release, to terminal 10. And terminal 10, is it terminal 10? Yes, terminal 10. That is 24 volts out. So let me hook this up here. Get on there. Come on, left hand. There we go. Now it says LS. We're not in no op anymore. We're in LS mode. Let's see what our speed is. Our speed's set to 50. Let's go ahead and start. And we'll see if we're running. Oh. Let's stop real quick. Okay. Let me set that. We're moving. <laughs> We're moving. So what we did, we got out of CP mode into application mode. We changed UD5 from 1 to 0. And we went back to UD0 and set the drive to drive mode by entering 500. Did I get all that right? I think I did. <laughs> okay. And change the speed. You push this function slash speed button right here and either increase or decrease the speed. Let's set it back to 50. Okay, so push the function speed key and up and down arrow. You want to stop? Press the stop key. Okay, let's put the camera there in front of the motor and you can watch it run. Okay, I'm pressing the start button. We're moving. Look at that. Let's go the other way. Pressing the stop button. Forward reverse button. Start button. Now we're going back the other way. Let's speed up. Pressing the function slash speed button. Pressing the up button. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now before we send this drive out, we're going to have to set everything back to the way it was. We'll do that after we run this motor a little bit. Pressing the stop button, pressing the forward reverse button to go forward, pressing the start button. It's a very smooth running motor. Very smooth running motor. To set the drive back to CAN bus, let's get to the UD parameters. There's UD. We're on UD0. We want to go to UD5. Right now, for drive control, it's set to 0. For CAN control, let's set that to 1. Press Enter. Okay. Let's go back in and make sure it did take. Yes, okay. 
Now, let's go back to UD0. And we want to set this to CP mode. To set it to CP on mode, when this is application, use the up arrow, and we're going to go to 200. Press enter. Now we're in CP mode. CP mode, I believe, stands for customer parameter mode, and you can look at different values that are that are, that you set up that you can look at. There's no op. It's no op now because we're in can mode. different parameters that you can look at. Let's leave it in that mode right there. Okay, going to power down, remove our panel, and put the CAN module back onto it. Wasn't that a lot of fun? We learned a lot about this drive today. We learned something new, didn't we? Whew. It's always nice when you can learn something new. Always nice. Well, there we go. We want to do the feedback, the line, the motor, and uh, she'll be good to go. Thank you very much, folks, for coming by and seeing what we're working on next. Have you a good day. And we'll see you next time.